This is Father and Son by sculptor Charles Parks. Placed in the plaza on French Street in 1973, this statue is a symbol of hope for the future. Inspired by Peter Spencer, the father of the independent black church movement in the United States. A movement that started right here in the city of Wilmington. By the 18th century, a few churches in the United States had been desegregated with both free and enslaved members but things were hardly equal. African Americans were often restricted to pews in the rear of the church or in the balcony, where seats were marked BM for black members. Many enslaved people in the Americas had adopted Christian faith traditions with a theology focused on the Bible's messages of equality and liberty of all people under God and the promise of freedom in the afterlife. Among the faithful was Peter Spencer, Born into slavery on a farm in Maryland in 1782, Spencer became free as a young man and moved to Wilmington. He began to worship at the predominantly white Asbury Methodist Episcopal Church at 3rd and Walnut Streets. But in 1813, he left the church and founded Ezion Methodist Episcopal Church. With that, he started a movement that created the first independent black denomination in the United States the African United Methodist Protestant Church, and then later, the Union American Methodist Episcopal Denomination. Often known as the Spencer Churches, these congregations embodied a growing desire among African Americans to govern themselves and to worship God in their own way. With their members forbidden from patronizing restaurants, theaters, and other public gathering spaces, black churches became the center of the community's social and cultural life. In 1814, Spencer launched the August Quarterly, an annual festival held in Wilmington on the last Sunday of August that brings together churchgoers from near and far in a spirit of solidarity and freedom. It's an event that made Wilmington a place of pilgrimage for African-American religious freedom, and the annual quarterly continues to this day. The black church has endured as a place of resistance against enslavement and segregation and a place of welcome in the fight for freedom and equality. At the time of his death in 1843, Spencer had started more than 30 churches and schools, and he is laid to rest here at Spencer Plaza on French Street at the site of the 1813 Mother African Union First Colored Methodist Protestant Church and the first August Quarterly.